Canadian aerospace company New Horizon Aircraft is displaying a prototype, and I want to get this right, of its hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. Uh, it's uh, taking part in a rare earth conference in Toronto. This is said to be uh, the world's first aircraft of its type. We are joined by Brandon Robinson, CEO of New Horizon Aircraft. Brandon, thanks very much for joining us. Just remind us, so what does this plane run on? It runs on electricity, but also hydrocarbons, or why do you call it a hybrid? Yeah, so thanks so much for having us, uh, Andrew. Uh, it's a hybrid electric uh, because it actually has a turbo generator on board generating its own electricity and it also has a battery array. So kind of the best of both worlds, high density um, energy fuel uh, and the electric power on board to enable some really cool capability. Right, so it has jet fuel though as part of its propulsion? That's correct. So it's a really efficient way uh, to build an aircraft that can again take off and land just like a helicopter, but en route it flies like a normal airplane, level, leveraging that uh, yeah, high density fuel for longer range, faster speeds, you can carry more, uh, and we're pretty proud. And you're based in Lindsay, Ontario. Do you do all the development work there? Oh, we're looking at some footage now. It looks amazing, uh, the machine. Yes, yeah, so we've been through a full development program and a full test program on the aircraft that's behind us right now. It flew beautifully, and we're doing it all just north of Toronto in the Lindsay area. We also have a couple of satellite locations. We're looking into the GTA for an extra spot as well. Um, so really expanding in southern Ontario. It's a pretty uh, great story. It's not robotic, though. It has a, a human pilot. Yes, this one behind me is half scale. So this one we flew remotely. The full scale aircraft will carry six people in the back and have one pilot up front. So it will be piloted. Um, traveling speeds up to uh, at least 200 miles an hour, so 450 kilometers an hour. It ranges up to five to 800 kilometers. Five to 800. So, what you would see this uh, for intercity hops, for example? Oh, it could be used on so many different uh, dual missions. One of them would be medical evacuations. So, imagine getting someone from side of the road that's injured to the hospital in about half the time. Again, it's about twice as fast as a helicopter, hmm. um, and about 75 percent cheaper to operate per unit mile. So, you know, maybe it's cancer drugs getting from hospital to hospital very quickly. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's transport uh, transporting organs, uh, again, between hospitals. Uh, and then any sort of critical cargo, reaching out and connecting some of the northern communities in Canada, being able to fly right mm -hmm. into the heart of a community and drop off critical uh, drugs um, and helping folks out. And tell us how, just give us a brief bit of history of the company. How did it get started? Why is it in Lindsay, Ontario? Yeah, so near the end of my Air Force career, so I flew jets in the Air Force for about 20 years. My father had an uh, awesome aerospace business where he was doing a lot of electrification. We got very interested in this air taxi sort of uh, advanced air mobility movement, it's called. So your typical all-electric aircraft that would take off and do short distance uh, sort of uh, transport within the city. Mm -hmm. um, and when we looked into it really carefully, we were really excited because there was a pretty big market gap growing whereby we could build something a little faster little longer range mm -hmm. um, and a little more operationally robust than some of the current uh, designs that we saw in the, in the market space. So put together a concept, got some funding, um, and it's been a real great Canadian success story so far. Has the government, have Canadian governments come in with any support? Um, yes, they're starting to. Uh, so there's a really interesting initiative right now called the Initiative for Sustainable Aviation Technology in Canada, INSAT. Um, and other places uh, where we've um, you know, applied for some mm -hmm. funding and we have started to see some, uh, some interesting funding. Downsview um, has a great green initiative and we were successful with that. We actually had some US DOD support as well. So the mm -hmm. Department of Defense was interested in what we were doing uh, south of the border and we uh, got a pretty prestigious uh, grant that helped us build this half scale prototype. Brandon, we've only got 20 seconds. Roughly how much have you raised so far? Can you give us any kind of ballpark? We've raised between 20 and 25 million mm -hmm. so far. Um, and uh, obviously we've done a lot with uh, that little. Lots of uh, potential upside to the company as well. So looking for some pretty explosive growth over the next uh, three to six months. That's a, it's quite the machine. Pretty impressive. Thanks very much, Brandon, uh, for joining us. Thanks, Andrew. Brandon Thank Robinson, so CEO of New Horizon Aircraft. We